Is there anyone videoing or tape recording playing all today's event? Lake like Campus present. Thank you. Okay. No, that's okay. That's fine. It's kind of rude. No, that's fine. You're fine. Chair was there all day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, great. Okay, so we've got the Lake Road Agricultural Commission. They're all all here for that. Great. Fantastic. Anyone wants to start while she's getting ready? Well, uh, this is our second meeting, and uh, we're doing a follow-up. Mm -hmm. And the uh, city's actually taking the ball with us, and uh, been meeting with the uh, town administrator, uh, Maureen, and uh, she's got some more information on possible grant. And uh, somebody, Maureen, has some conditions. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Maureen, we've got in touch with... Uh, me and we talked about what the selectmen wanted to see us do and I told them that when we had met with you before uh, it was very, I felt it was really positive reception you guys gave us, it was really, really nice. So they were happy to hear that. The selectmen have a group of questions that we still have to answer and they have to be sort of um, put out as a public survey. So in a couple of days that will be posted on SurveyMonkey. And it's basically questions from um, the state website on how to run a farmer's market. Okay. And there are two sections of that. I don't know if you need that information. But it's basically revamping those questions in order to establish um, what they wanted to know was how many people would be utilizing the farmer's market. What kind of an audience size did we anticipate? Um, so they thought taking the poll and this uh, survey monthly will be posted on the town website, mm -hmm. so it'll be accessible to lots of folks. And um, the other question is for um, the victim, uh, how many people and what they'd be looking for to buy. Um, so I haven't gotten that call put together yet, but it should be up in a couple of days. Um, what we had talked about as a commission. Uh, our last meeting was uh, hopefully using Ted Williams you know, um, as a space. And, and we thought about a Saturday, but that is, may or may not work well depending on functions and everything else. We were, we were looking at 10 to 2. It, it's, it's just that it, it's, it's very busy here on Saturdays. No, and that would be a good thing for you because it would be pe people coming through. And I mean, you know, I, I, I'm open to it. It, it, you know, it's what the rest of the board feels and where we can put you where you're visible, but yet the only place that it, 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 it could cause a, no, I won't say a problem, but is if there was a, a function here, you know, and I don't think we're going to put you right here in the, in the little square area right near the door anyhow. <laughs> and we were talking about, you know, down there closer to the bathrooms, near parking, um, a little more visible. I mean, and another alternative I was looking at recently is the sort of, I want to call it overflow parking over near the mm -hmm. tennis courts, that little space. It's level, people right. could set up there. Um, something that the selectmen wanted to see, and I think it was because they know how busy the park is, they wanted us to uh, present uh, a second possible site. So not just to the Camp, mm -hmm. but another spot. So I know we've talked about Dick and Diamond in the old town hall before. Um, yep. And when we present that to the selectmen, I think there'll be a number of reasons that will make it prohibitive for us to do that. Yeah. Um, but just in, if you folks had any other ideas about good spaces that we could utilize, we're thinking of the market running from mid-June to mid-October. I mean, the other park that we're in, the other two parks that we're in control of are Clear Pond Park, which probably wouldn't be a good spot, and John Pond Park. But there's not too much going on. I mean, there is some softball Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. Okay. So that is probably yeah. probably not going to work. Yeah, um, I think that's sort of you know. And it's Vaughan kind of, Street is not. Yeah. One of those, if you could put a sign out at the corner of Vaughan Street and say, yeah, farmers market, but how many people are going to? I agree. Yeah. Down the street I, I was just throwing out alternatives yeah. that we we're in control of. Right. Not that they're a good option. Yeah. 
this is probably a better option than we put Dicker Diner. Uh, the only problem with that is, as you will know, you got people crossing the street and parking. Yeah, right. please detail. Yeah, you know, please detail. Uh, no restrooms. No restrooms. Yeah. Well, you can talk to the church, though. The church is always open to Alba Beach. Yeah. Um, 10 to 2 on a Saturday, unless there's a wedding. Yeah. Um, wouldn't be a huge deal. I mean, yeah. Yeah. that's a good idea. We can bring it up to the, you know, to the yeah. church. We can ask the church. And, and I don't mean to speak out of turn, but Dave and I mentioned, well, it, could, it doesn't necessarily have to be the Saturday. I think uh, there, yeah. there are other options, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a Friday looks like. A Friday, say, 3 to set, 6 or 3 to 7 or something like that. Yeah, other than somebody having to practice down here um, and, and possibly a function here on a Friday night, um, it's, it's, it's more wide open. Um, you're not going to have as much traffic, which is what you'd like to have, <laughs> you know? There are still activities going on. <coughs> there are. Not like Saturday. Not like Saturday. <laughs> no, no, not like Saturday. So where was this spot you originally talked about? What, you said over, overflow parking or? Well, see, that's that's the other thing. That is the overflow parking for the wedding. Right. Is that is that parking lot? The little space that's over near the tennis courts. Okay. That's sort of semi-paved, but not quite. Yeah. So you would think that would be enough space for, I don't know how many vendors. We're anticipating what we'd like to start with is probably about 12 vendors. Oh yeah, there's plenty of them. Yeah. And they all mean like 15 by 15. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, we met the week you were here last, I was thinking about some possible spaces and kind of looking around and around and around. There's the two outside bathrooms straight ahead out here, and this side of it we do rent out for functions quite a bit, but the other side of it, there's quite a bit of room over there, quite a grass over yeah. between the playground and where the bathrooms are. Yeah, you might want to take a look at that too, because then they can park in the big parking lot. They could park in any one of the parking lots yeah, and walk to them. Yeah. Okay. You know, and, and, and now you're visible to people at baseball, people at so uh, soccer. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of you know that being more helpful for you to, to be someplace where people see you um, would, would be more beneficial. It's just hey, yeah. Saturday is a busy day. It is. You know. It's hard to and it's also busy for other farmers markets, so it might not be the best choice. Yep. Did Hank, did you have a suggestion from farmers you know, a suggestion of another day that would be good? Wednesdays. See, but they're looking for a day that others aren't gone. You know, other other farm markets haven't happened. Mm -hmm. That's what was broke to me. Yeah. During the week is wide open. Yeah. So it's not even a day weddings, right? Usually not Wednesday. Yeah, not Wednesday. Yeah, not Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, not Wednesday. I think we had we had one last week. We had a couple last week. So, but I mean that, that's unusual that we have something during the week. But even if it's over there, it's not going to impact over right. here. Right. You know, I'm just thinking if you're over there near the bathroom, you got parking. You got the little lot there. You've got the lot in front of the maintenance building. Um, you know, you've got ample parking. If it was an off day. You know, I mean, it, it just gets really hectic um, on Saturdays. You know, um, not that we couldn't try to squeeze you in someplace, you know, because it would be a good traffic day for you, but we've all got to work out what we think would be the best spot on the, on the, on the property. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you, is it possible, not to make it more complicated, but to put the question on, on the survey to ask what days people would be interested in? Yeah, I was just, yeah. yeah. So they'll give you feedback. Yeah, we might have part of the survey and also who in Lakeville wants to be a vendor. Right. Yeah, there you go. That's another aspect of sure. it, so I'm going to compose all this. Um, I've met with the Board of Health agent, and he's provided, the, their office has provided us with the, the form that they use for anybody who's a food handler, caterer, or anything. Um, and it's going to include a block for farmer's market. And it breaks all down. Uh, all the certifications they need and everything that they have to have, the uh, food handlers, allergy awareness, all the different certifications. Commercial kitchen. Yeah, commercial and residential kitchens and stuff. So all of that's on that form and that will be a form that the vendors have to fill out along with the form that we're going to ask of them that has lots of details on it. So everything will be right there on paper before they even are accepted as a, as a vendor. So, and they should all be, they'll all be insured, insured and licensed and that sort of thing. Insurance, that was the other thing I was going to say. Right. Um, the town requires insurance. Right, so as as far as I've been able to get answers from the, from the town officials, because we 
because the Agricultural Commission is, gonna, um, is going to be managing it. We're not hiring anyone to manage it, but the Commission will manage it. Um, and as long as it's on town property, it fall into the everything, town. everything should great. be covered. Nice. That's great. So there shouldn't be any issues there. And that's what a few people have said to me, but I haven't seen anything specific in writing yet. So I'm hoping that that won't change. Did you say this was for every week during that time frame? Every other week? It would be weekly. weekly. And, and what, what was, I know you said the time frame, I was June, 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 yeah. June to October. Yeah, the middle of each month. Did you? What would, would be an issue if there was like, uh, I'm, I think it would be in August, we have a, that Cranberry Tri Fest this year, and they take up the whole park. Yeah. And we probably wouldn't be. I uh, try uh, to buy right. one. Right. How many days? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Yeah. And they even set it up. Friday. And they come in. They come in and set up on on Thursday and Friday. It's it, it takes over the whole building, all out there, and the parking on that day is crazy. Everything's totally cool. Yeah, there's no parking. Yeah, but I, I mean, my question is, it, would it be an issue to have to skip a day? If you're gonna, if you're gonna have it, and you're gonna post it's gonna be every week, or people yeah. are gonna be looking for it. That's that's the thing. And the reason we were going for every week was that we were advised that by other people who run farmers sure. markets for consistency sake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And actually, uh, looking at that, I mean, June June through August, other than that weekend, um, there's not a lot going on down here. Mm -hmm. It's when September kicks in is when soccer. Um, and and the, the fall sports kick in, so it would only be for those latter few weeks that we might have such you know parking. Yeah, April, May, June for the other sports. Yeah. Right, and right. So and they're starting in June, so it might overlap a week, you know, because the early spring sports go through the end of June. Yeah. So you're talking you know a week or two there, but July and August, with the exception of the Tri Fest, is is pretty quiet. Quieter, let's put it that way. <laughs> it might not be a problem as long as that is advertised enough yeah. that it right. will be going on that weekend of the tri fest. Right. You know, but we have, you know, we have to make sure that we advertise it. Right. Because you don't want people showing up and saying, hey, where is it? And then not coming back. And not come back. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and um, part of the, I'm kind of backtracking, part of the request from the selectmen and in looking at a second site was they also want us to be as um, ADA compliant as possible. So we have to, if we were at another site, we probably have to have one of the big trailer um, port toilets um, and that sort of thing. And we, we aren't given a budget, so. Yeah. I don't know how we come by in that. Oh, another thing from the Board of Health. Sorry, um, the Board of Health agent will be inspecting, and because we're a town commission, when they, when the Board of Health feels that all of the vendors are, you know, adequately have the adequate licensing and certification and insurance, the, the probably what they'll be doing is charging. A one, a one-time fee for the entire market, and not applying it to each individual vendor, which will make it a whole lot more affordable for everybody. What's the fee for? Um, for their inspection and to to run the um, yeah. Okay. Would that be like food handlers? Yeah, for all the food handlers, <laughs> and that and that just involves people. Who not not fresh like not fresh produce that's uncut. They don't have to be under that. And anybody who's handling honey that hasn't been processed, there's nothing added to the honey, like flavorings or so all like the big baked goods. Baked goods and meats, mm -hmm. anything that's baked. Jellies, jams. Yep, all that has to has to fall under the order now. Okay. But that can be covered by what they pay for the for right. the book. Do you have vendors that, that, would you have vendors that come in that just like to crafts and stuff like that? Yeah. But okay. That's just kind of things I like to do. Um, yeah. Not only just have a farmer's market for produce and you know, vegetables and fruits, but I like to have crafters come in. I like artists, uh, yeah. local musicians. Mm -hmm. You know, 
kids' face painting. Yeah, a playful action music festival. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I just you know I, I want to put something out there that the residents could go and, and you know a market that they can go through and they can browse, but also you know bring some the culture into the you know the town too. We just wanted to come back and update you because it's we appreciate fall it. and yep. like we said we do it. Yeah, so, so maybe after you get results from the survey, you could come back and let us know where, where, where things came out with that. And we'll just keep in touch this way, yep. you know, so that we're all on the same page. Yeah, and we're on the docket to uh, on uh, the selectman's agenda for the 28th of October. So we'll know a lot more after that. So okay. the survey monkey information will be on. Hopefully, I'll collect a question. Yes. Um, one of the things that Cindy was looking into that um, Maureen mentioned that they were working on was that there's grants out there for you know people in towns that want to start up a farmers market. And one of the things I was I was wondering if we could do was uh, a, a lot of people sell using credit card machines or you know, debit machines or something like that. And they need internet access. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if we'd be able to take some of the money from the grant if we do get the grant and be able to Wi-Fi extenders out in that location? Well, there is Wi-Fi to the Karate. So that's right in the middle of a couple of these possible spots. There's Wi-Fi here. Um, I, 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 you know, speaking for myself, I don't have a problem with it, but I mean, you know, I'm sure the rest of the board um, may have a different view. Um, I want to check how much Wi-Fi you can get out. Um, right. A lot of the yeah. part is covered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should test it that way because it starts going down when you hit that. When you go this right. way. When you go this it's way, so like to the office. A lot of the devices use cell service, though, don't they? Yeah, a lot of them mm -hmm. just use, if you get like yeah. one of those squares, yeah. Yeah. you can just go through your cell phone. Drive your cell by the time you can come up with one of the technology will be on. <laughs> right, we, uh, I, we, we have spotty service like in our office over here, yeah. which is where Nell's gonna be moving into. And well, I mean, you literally have to go stand on the front steps, you know, to get the Wi-Fi. Right. And um, we inquired and they said it was gonna be like a $5,000 drop. Whoa, whoa, stop. I mean, that was a lot. We're extending Wi-Fi? That's what I was told. I think they misunderstood. I, I really do. I so, think they might have. Um, yeah. I like Yeah. No, I wouldn't think so. Um, if any, I mean, there might be a 
couple windows or something that might require refrigeration or you know, something to that effect. But yeah, I wouldn't think it'd be too much. Yeah. Well, I would probably have those mini generators to, you know, if they have a little smaller yeah, they refrigerator, so they might have a little thousand watt. But we do have access to some electric here. Okay. Yep. All right. You mentioned um, also uh, uh, handicap access. Mm -hmm. um, you can get the porta parties that are ADA compliant, mm -hmm. just the regular porta parties. You know, just, we just bought one of the big mobile ones for one of the other fields, and it was fifty thousand dollars by the time we got done with it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you can get a, um, an ADA. Just a port party. Just a port party. It's, it's, it's wider. Yeah. It's wider. I mean, the bathrooms. You know, it's a little bit of a hike depending on where you are. But the, the bathrooms on the other side of the maintenance building. Mm -hmm. It's all flat. It's all ADA accessible. Um, the two little bathrooms here are not. It's a step up. Um, probably not wide enough. Even if we did put a ramp, uh, they've been there forever. <laughs> uh, they're just kind of extras. Um, One thing we might want to consider is. Um, Nelly is giving um, the management company a heads up that we would consider yeah, this. Absolutely. Just telling them we're thinking about it, it's likely could happen. Here's right. mid June to mid October. And we'll get during the day, day 10 to 2. The last thing you want to do is surprise them. Oh, no, absolutely. Because yeah. they'll be booking things, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. They'll probably be booking. Oh, yeah. Um, is, there, is there any requirement from us for like people going to be playing in, the, in, in the park where the kids are? Like, you know, I know coaches have Corey forms like that. Do we need anything that people who will be near the park and playground or would we require anything like that? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll check with Tom Hall, but I, I, I don't believe so. I mean, you know, I mean, there's been events here in the past and there's been a food truck that came from out of town. And, yeah. You know, they have food handles. Like, no, 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 good point. Good point. Good point. Always yeah. a good point. Um, and um, we'll usually if you're working directly with the kids, it's really good. Yep. So perhaps if you have face painting, perhaps person face painting. Well, yeah, that right now. Now you're dealing directly Might with be, the kids, as opposed to a vendor who yep. sells mm -hmm. something. Okay. Anything else? Yep. I think it's everything I have. Do you have more questions of us? Okay. Um, yeah, no, no, this is great. It's good, good information back and forth. Um, get all these things out of the way. Um, yeah, I, I don't, personally don't have any questions. Anybody else? Joe or Justin? No. No. Okay. no. If you think of something, next time we get together, we'll shoot a match. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in tonight. Okay. Okay, we have bills to approve. How about uh, minutes to approve? Yes. Um, the first thing about the uh, board says we're going to approve the bills. Uh, a good one for work, the field one, field two, however, the third bill was screened one, which should be held aside until further conversation, which we, we did last last meeting. Yep. Um, it's just, there's confusion on the bill since the company received the bid for work on field two and this work was included. Um, that's partially true, okay. um, but we did have them do extra room screening. And that's the reason we need to re re revisit that with them. We have to meet okay, with them so again. There was Part of it was an extra, but not all of the screening was an extra. They did like an extra 200 yards of screening that, we'll, that we will so use moving maybe, forward. Maybe, and this work was included in addition to extra? Or you just put part of it, you know, part of this work was part of this work should have been included instead of okay all right and then i had a question scott on the last where it says the i don't know where we well i'm sure we'll get to it but um as far as the the, the, the funds the extra um was the extra 13 or 1600 dollars is that what this is referring to yeah okay um are those the correct years 
Yes, because the, the, the 75,000 was carried over from 19. Okay. And the total of the two bills is $1,300 more. Yeah. So that seems to be a sticking point for the county. Well, yeah, I got a call today to pay, but is that why they haven't been paid? I, yeah, I, I'll I, get back. I, I don't know, but that so, was... So, yeah, but so funds, the funds, I thought we, we talked about taking the additional funds out of that money that was left over for the, like the, the it's like a $35,000. We can't. Yeah. Because okay. that, that That's was... That's gone? Well, no, that was for the drainage. Right. Not for the fields. So we can't use that for that, unfortunately. Okay. And number two, you're right. That's gone. That was gone as of June thirtieth. Okay. Rolled back into our retained earnings. Okay. So all right. I, so fiction, fiscal year twenty is correct then. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And um, I don't know. I got an email on that while I was away. I thought it was taken care of, but I guess it's still an issue. Does anybody? Do you have any? You get a phone call today? Uh, from Norris Tyrus say wondering oh. if we haven't been paid yet. E either one of the bills, or we paid either one of them? No. No. Do you have any insight on that? I don't. Uh, the last time I knew, and I'm trying to look it up right now, um, there was a question of where the funds were going to come for the additional, but they were going to actually pay uh, the uh, the budgeted amount out to them, so that all that was left over was the this thirteen hundred. All that was was an estimate. There was no hard number. It was just an estimate of seventy five thousand to get us going on the project. That was never a hard number. We never presented anybody with any figures to back that up, other than more than that were the figures that we had. Way more than that. They were way more than that. <laughs> and we were able to get it done for 75 plus 1300. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here as to why there's a problem. But I guess I gotta make another phone call. Uh, which, uh, well, we'll get to it when we get back there. We're just, on, we're just on the meeting minutes for now. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I had. Oh, anybody, oh, really? Did anybody else have any questions on the minutes? I don't think I need proofread. I was expecting more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Keeping you on your toes. Yes. Selectman 
approved both of those bids. Um, I'm not sure what they were looking at. If they were, yeah, the total, what the amount was. was. The total was uh, more, right? Hmm? The total was more than seventy five. Right, thirteen hundred dollars more. We, I, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do to do the correct thing because every time they ask us to do it this a, a certain way, we try to do it, and then now they're holding money back from someone. I, it's not my affair. He, he's gonna build, go out to the town, I'm sure. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what we did wrong on that one. Okay. That makes the third phone call. Elliot, this bill here, this is the one that my group includes. Do you want to approve this anyway, or how do you want to hold it? Yeah, I've um, the amount that's listed is the is the amount without that invoice until we figure that out. Yeah, okay, I'll speak to him. I'll send this one to him. Okay, uh, great, yes. If you want a copy uh, of what he signed. I, I wouldn't know it's that. Oh, you wrote it? Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, staying with the agenda. Uh, any more? <coughs> we've approved the minutes. Any more discussion on the minutes? Other than what's already been brought forward. Um, SEM Loon Pond Lodge updates. Anybody have anything, Mike? Do you have anything? No. Uh, the busy, busy time is over, I think. They still got weddings just about every weekend, but that three or three, four weeks where we had. Monday, we have Monday weddings. <laughs> Monday um, night or Monday day? Monday night wedding, yeah. <laughs> um, no, actually it was 12 p.m. So it was a new time. Yeah, wow. Okay. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe that was, it was Labor Day, probably. No, not Labor Day. It's gotta be something, right? No, it wouldn't have been Labor Day. That's the beginning no. of September. What was the 30th? That wasn't any holiday or anything. No. Oh, it's just 12 p.m. because that's when they let them in. Okay. Just start. So it was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, they were still here when uh, we were having the meeting. Yes. Yeah. So we got one. Yes. Let's see. Today's the seventh. So one, two, three more weddings this, 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 um, this month. I don't know. Is it more? Because my Saturday has been cut um, off here. We got one, two, three, four. When is the contract up on that? Another, Another year. year in November. A year from we're this month. Half, we're about halfway through. Yeah. So anyway, things have been working pretty well. Um, our crew has been keeping the place ready, you know, mowed on Thursdays and Fridays and all the trash is out. And, um, well, I've been trying to make sure I've been in contact with Nikki either Thursday or Friday so that we know what's going on on the weekend, no surprises. And uh, no, it seems like the, it's, on wood. It seems like the haven't had any problems. It seems like the operation of it is good. Like, yeah, it seems to go consistent. Well. But I'm curious because we're down a lot of revenue from the haunted house, so I'm curious. I remember last time where they're not, it's not as lucrative as it was last year. Is that not correct? I don't know if we are or not. I'm we should look at it, not today, we should look at it. Oh, I'm getting some numbers together um, to compare so we can see where, where it's going um, from the last two completed years. Yeah. Because um, we're only partially kind of into right, right, right. the big season here. Like, um, So I'm working on that. Okay. Uh, I'm pulling some old numbers so we can see a comparison since they kind of started into now. The reason I say that is that, you know, it, not not to be, um, it's leverage, right? So, you know, if it's an open bid in a year from now, then we would consider other vendors. I, they've been great. So mm -hmm. I don't think they've been bad to work with, but mm -hmm. it is kind of a major revenue source. So getting the most out of it, it seems like, you know, yeah. I, I, I was expecting more at the time, but maybe that was just me. So the fact that we're not doing it is great, but... Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but you for what the to, cost is, and it yeah. should be pretty much. Well, I, I think we, we discussed at our meeting earlier, they were here. Okay. That um, I'm sure a couple and we times. approved uh, a significant rate hike. Right. Like, going to take that money. He's 
times two or something, right? Okay, and they changed it to, um, so if you're having a wedding here, you just have it the whole day. Okay. And it's just it's much So maybe that, yeah, does that make, that's, I mean, you, like, I trust them to do the right thing because they know what they're doing. Yeah, but they, so as, as you say, they need supervision and they need to be, yeah. it's, they need to be right. we're, we're the, accountable. Yeah. Competition is good. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. So, and, and we give them enough time to yeah. look well, at we, the numbers now, discuss it now, figure it out for another yeah. year, and see what goes. And remember, we, but we will also need to prepare a, a new thing for a new bid. It'll right. have to go out to bid. Right. Which oh, no matter means what. Right. If, it, if it ends in November, we're going to have to start it. January? Yeah, January. <laughs> mm, yeah. Start looking at it in January. But remember, you know, when they first came in that first, even like two right. years, they're battling what was already booked. Right. So there was, yep. or they're already That's trying fair. to fight. That's fair. Yeah. You know, where now I think it's more of this is their pricing structure, this is their okay. management. That's totally fair. You know. I agree with that. More specifically, um, you asked about well, the drive test. I'll take care of that. Yes, about the tri. Do you have a thing on the tri fest yes. date? Um, is this from this that you gave us? Is this from SEM? From SEM. Okay. Yes. So, how does this um, fee structure um, differ from what we've had in the past? And they 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 don't have anything really checked here, as far as group outings. But Correct. How, how many or anything like that? I'm not sure. Well, and that was the second question, uh, uh, along with the uh, amendments to the contract for the 2020 event, because it's not the no a normal year, because they're holding it on a weekend that we do have an event already booked. Um, so SEM was kind of wondering, what are we charging them? We usually charge them one fee to get the building and the field. Et cetera, et cetera, but they can't do that. No, but no, they get two fees. One is for the building. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then one is per per, right. per participant. Yeah, but the per per participant. Well, we made the set correct, unless mm -hmm. we go up on that. Mm -hmm. um, there, they just didn't know what to do for field rental fee. Right, because I believe it was nine hundred dollars. If I'm not mistaken. Nine fifty. Nine fifty. Yeah. Okay, so they haven't been in touch with them to negotiate that at all. Are we supposed to contact Mark and negotiate that with him, or are they gonna? You know? They want. They just want to. They'll. They'll tell Mark what the price is via the commission. So okay. have they talked to the potential wedding party for this weekend? I do believe so. The okay. wedding party is actually at the maximum that we can have in this building, so it is a full wedding. Okay. Well, that, that's not that's not the issue. That's got nothing to do with this question. Are they okay with knowing the fact that there will be an event here and there will be things out here in the grass? I don't have that confirmation. Okay. SEM okay. is looking to come to the next meeting. Okay. Okay. All right. Then we we'll, should know then. Yep. I'll call Nikki and see where they're at. Yep. That. That's fine. Great. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, obviously we can't charge him nine fifty if he's not getting the bill. But that's the least of our least of our charge. Um, right. And we're not making money on the building that week from the wedding anyway. Mm -hmm. We are correct for that weekend. Go ahead. <laughs> How many people are there? It's over four hundred, right? For the event? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot yeah. more than that. It's over six hundred. So a weekend rate for, for, for over four hundred or seven hundred dollars for the outdoor. Right, but we have because of the, the right. fee structure, right. we, I, we charged nine fifty for the building for the use of the building for Friday and Saturday, well, for whatever it was, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because they did registration, mm -hmm. and we had that price because we made it up on the other end um, at the five dollars per person. Um, I don't know, what do we get? Nine thousand dollars, something like that. Seven thousand dollars. Do you know what we so got? I don't think we've got anything yet. I'm trying to look at the last one. I know the last meeting we hadn't received anything yet. No. And we just, just got, SEM just got the per participant fee, but no building fee. For last year? For this past year. Why wouldn't he send it all in check? I'm not quite sure. Which I think he 
He, no, he sent it in two separate checks last year. He paid the building fee first and foremost. Yeah. He paid that, no problem whatsoever, and then the participant fee came, you know, later, but, as fact. he does. So has, um, do you think he's already paid the building fee? No, we don't have anything. What was the participant fee? I don't have this year's. I have last year's. Oh, so give me, do, do you want last well, year's? Could, last year's, give me last year. Okay, hold on. You would have more this year than last year. It was at least. I was there? Yeah. I was busy. Yeah. Well, I always look at the numbers on the bikes. 600. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. It was over 600. You did it this year? I don't know. How was it? Um, I'm not, not good. I, yeah. the, the event itself? Uh, yeah. Last year it was $5,510 for, for the participant fee. I did, I did this. This was my first one. Yeah, that's right. So I did it. The whole setup was awesome. It's like six. The way they did it was just amazing. It's like six hundred per day. Yeah, eleven hundred last year. And I did another one in. I can't remember where. Somewhere around here. It was terrible. Oh yeah. Like, just it's how you run it is a huge difference. But he's so been they doing do it for eighteen job. years. Yeah. I mean, he does more it's than just one. A, it's a it's a whole system. It's oh, super yeah. efficient, super organized. Yep. No, they do a good job. Yeah, really good job. So how, is that going to be affected by what we? You know, well, smoothness, if you will, you saw it this um, year. Hundred percent. It has to be. If they can't use the building and stuff, it's a big advantage. So, right. But well, what they know. use the building for is for um, registration on Friday night, um, storing things in here. Yeah. Um, right. So that was all very efficient. The challenge is, so the one I was going to do was supposed to rain that day. So if it rains and you're outside, right. So that's why I suggest literally we allow them to use the office. Right. They can go in one door, out the other. Yep. They can set up tables or turn the conference table, and they can be behind it. They can hand out their stuff, yep. then people in one door, out the other. To me, I mean, I think we could make that allowance. Yeah, Hunter you know, used to do it that way, right? They did it that way yeah. for a while, yeah, they did. Yeah, it, they'll make it work, but it's just, it, you know, you know, I mean, he was talking about doing it outside. My feeling was, my feeling was, my feeling was to let them use the no, They'll figure it out. It, was, right. it just was impressive that it was how it was run. Yeah. Um, Okay, so he needs to be called too. You need to talk to Nikki and then talk to him. Yeah. All right. But so we should come up with a figure. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. We'll so this is. I, I was when I, I saw that on the. You know. I saw this on the agenda. I thought this was something we were supposed to sign off on. No, um, <laughs> SEM primarily wants uh, to know how much they should be charging. Okay. And then, secondly, the addendum to the contract, if they've covered everything needed. Um, in my opinion, there should be a signature line on the bottom that he signed saying he understands all the addendums because we've reviewed it. Right. I mean, and I think we need to outline the things that, that we all talked about. Exactly. You know, where he's to put his box. I think we should have him move his box over here every year. Yeah. I, I don't think he should have it over here no. on the tower. Anyhow, I'm just reading should. the addendum here in the back. Oh, in the back of it. Oh, yes. Oh, well, there's no event participants, including staff, and park on the paved lot to the left of the lodge or the unpaved lot in front of it, of and alongside the tennis courts. Right. All equipment related to the race will be removed from the area surrounding the lodge. This includes flags, posts, ropes, inflatables, and trash. If she put the inflatables in there, I'm sure, because there was a sticking point with him. He didn't want to take the right. and water he, inflatable right. out. It, it can't be there. Right. But he's going to have to agree to he, that or gonna have whatever. To. And trash. The area surrounding the lodge includes pine groves on both sides of the lodge, lawn, parking lot, circular drive, etc. Yep. So that is what we talked about. That, that looks pretty much stuff. pretty much everything this side of the road. Yeah. No tents for overnight camping will be set up on the property surrounding or near the lodge. All equipment storage and vehicles used for the event will be located in the parking lot in front of the horseshoe pit. There it is. That's what we had talked about. Yeah. Yep. And the, so everything's. Good. It don't no, look like it's written down. I didn't see. I didn't see this back page. That's why. Do you know why they use an inflatable? By the way, it's not just for show. It's because when you're halfway up in the lake, you don't know where you're going. Oh, really? Because you have to be able to, you have to sight it. Yeah. So when yeah. you're swimming, you don't, you don't know what straight is. Yeah. So when you have that big thing, that's right? He has, he has one over at the start and one over here at the finish. Yeah. She so probably don't need the. Now, you don't Nikki, need the one at the start. Nikki said the one at the start probably shouldn't be a problem. We'll just have to confirm with her. Well, he can have it. He's just going to take it down. Right, right. But he could probably leave the one at the start. Yeah, up, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's yeah. not right here in front of the watch. Right. And even I she said, believe it's that even she said that, that shouldn't be a problem. We just want to confirm with her that she's okay with that one. Yeah. No, it's like a jumpy house. It's got the, yeah. the fan. The weight on. Oh, yeah. 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 And it's just a big thing. And if you notice, it says where it says 
cranberry dry fest is uh, attached so that he can take it off and put next event on. Yeah. You know, we're smart in that respect instead of making it for the event. Mm -hmm. um, looks like everything's here. Um, we just want to definitely double check with her on that because she did say she thought that was okay over there. I just want to make sure um, that he could leave that one. I, I don't know. When, when they came in, we talked about it. Okay. And she, she, she thought did that say one, it was okay. I, right. I'm pretty sure. I just, want, I just want to confirm with her when you do talk to her. Yeah. yeah. You know. Um, yep. But yeah, the one in front here has got to be taken down. Okay. There's, there's no, if he wants that weekend, um, and then we could, I mean, if, if the board will allow it, we could allow him to use, you know, the office building um, for his registration, which is Friday night and Saturday night, um, you know, after, after the event. Yeah. I mean, that would be away from over here. He wouldn't be setting up a table out in the middle, you know. Um, we just have to confirm that's not rented out for the bride. Yeah. Correct. You can, we got to check on that. Correct. So, possible of the office. Question mark. Okay. Um, just to add to uh, Loom Pond Lodge updates, um, I got an email today from Maureen, the town administrator. Um, I guess there was a complaint against the bar group um, that was posted on some obscure wedding wire. I spent over an hour trying to find it. It's on Facebook. I spent over an hour trying to find it. It's not there. It's not there. It's, it's the, no. It's Nelly. Oh, you mean the post? It's been deleted. It's been deleted. Yes. Yes. There was this. Um, particular bride was very upset with the way the, the bar service handled um, the event um, and posted such. Um, a town employee um, then responded to her and told her she would take care of it. She had no right to do that. Um, and subsequently, uh, Maureen was informed. Um, I reached out to Nikki and Nikki said, um, People need to get all the facts before they decide to side with one person or another. Um, this was a group of corrections officers um, that continually, and I'll say this multiple times, were bringing alcohol into this facility, were told to get rid of it, had it taken away, and finally to the point they had to call the police. So there's a little second story that's not being told that... Was this um, a recent this a wedding? Was last weekend. A wedding? Last yes. weekend. Um, I just found out about it today. Um, subsequently, that person took down their post. Um, I don't know where it's gone from there, but um, I will be reaching out to our town administrator to give her a little more information that it's not just what was posted on. Um, I have a thing here. I can't even read it, it was so small. Uh, Nikki did send me the post. Um, you're all welcome to read it if you'd like. It's about epic. <laughs> um, but anyhow, it's here on my phone, she sent it to me. So, you know, the, the person complained but didn't go on to elaborate that they were bringing alcohol in here when, I'm not saying they're police officers, but they're law enforcement and they know better than to bring alcohol in here and they did it multiple times and to the point where the bar was clearing up things they weren't even selling. So, I mean, it wasn't too smart on their part to the point where she, they finally called the police. So there is a police report. Well, their, their liquor license, right. SEM's liquor license, is at risk mm -hmm. whenever 100%. someone does that. 100%. Right. Yep. And it's on the contract. It's not only I is it on the it contract, right it's <laughs> also yeah. point, point, pointed out to each and every one, and um, it's reiterated that that's not, ex not acceptable. Um, so it wasn't like one person brought in a nip. It's multiple, multiple times. So I just wanted to bring you up to speed on that. Uh, as I know more, as I get more information, I will let you all know. I would, I wonder if there's any way that we could hear about this before 
getting it back through social media? <laughs> well, I mean, they, they I guess should have contacted I, When I talked to Nikki, I'll ask her to let us know. She should have contacted if you. If you have a problem. She should have contacted you. Right, yeah, just to let us know yep. so that we have some sort of background on it before we start hearing about it right. from the yeah. town administrator because Absolutely. she saw it on social yeah. media. Absolutely. Anytime, Absolutely. Anytime, anytime you have to call the police, they should let us know. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't right. Yep. Know. Exactly. Yep. Anytime there's an That's issue, it yeah. should be, and Mike's our liaison, so that he should be the first phone call and I should be the second if they can't get in touch with Mike, you know, and on down the line. But they should definitely talk to somebody. So we need to. Reiterate that so that it's not a surprise like it was today. It should be the first call like, immediately after the police. Yep. yep. And you know, um, is Saturday or Sunday? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. What did they do? What did they do? They they toss them or? I I don't know exactly. Um, it was towards the end of the night. When the police were called, they left before the police got here. Once they, they found out the police were called, everybody vanished. And they even, gave him, they even gave him extra time. Did they go that way or something? Yeah. <laughs> because... <laughs> Probably. Well, they came with five police cars, I guess, Nikki said, so. Uh, they must have brought some friends with them. No. Well, They're I mean, right here. There's a problem. They're really yeah. nope. good they, to... They come. They are. They, they're quickly. here. They're here in a snap. And yeah. thank you, police and, department. And yeah. they do help us a lot. Yep. But I think that the whole thing of them not saying anything is that... Yeah. I think the theory is they handled it. Yes, they did. They handled it. They did what they had to do. The the business was handled. So it's all done. But they, um, should, they should have contacted. However, then this all right. trickled out of it. Right. They, they should have contacted somebody on the board. Yeah. And the first call should have been Mike. Second call, like I said, it should have been email down the line. Just, like just to let us know. know about that. Text message, email, something. Yep. So we're not surprised by it. All right, Ted Williams Camp updates. Triple E, we are currently closing at 6.15. I checked tonight and sunset is at 6.15. So do we need to go so to six? The next thing is do we move it up to six o'clock? What's been the pattern so far, for two weeks? Um, When's the last time we changed? Every week. Two weeks ago. We two changed weeks ago. it two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Yep. And when we changed it two weeks ago, um, it was 6.45. It's about 15 minutes a week. So when we um, originally we said that we would, we said we'd do 15 minutes a week. Half an hour. Right. Okay, right. 15 right. minutes a week. So, I mean, it didn't, it didn't change, you know, last week. Um, but, um, 6.15, by the end of the week, it's going to be 6 o'clock. Was it just, just soccer, football, cheerleading? Mostly soccer. Soccer, football. Volleyball. And, and cheerleading. Lights are off. Yeah. I just volleyball and basketball, so they leave anyway. Well, not always. No? <laughs> no. I came in and the cars were pulled up, yeah. putting the lights Oh, that was, yeah, that was last time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just, that's yeah. what they do. Yeah. I've seen basketball play. Seems to have been pretty good about it. No, it, they, they've been very good. It I mean, like, like the first week we changed it to 6.30, I was here. I was here at 6.15. I left. I came back at 6.33. And when I was here at 6.15, there were 10 teams practicing yeah. soccer, right? And at 6.33, there was not one person on the field. I did the same experience. You know, and I was, I, as a matter of fact, I sent, I sent um, you know, soccer a, a, a text yep. to, um, um, huh? Derek. Derek. I, and, I, and I thanked him. Thank, I, I told him to thank his coaches. Um, and when I pulled in tonight, um, nobody here from football. So at 6.30. Yeah, so I had the same experience. It was like football, soccer. Like the place was jammed at like 6.28. I'm like, you gotta get out of here. And then I did something and I came back and it was empty. Yep. So, um, and that's the reason we're before dusk. Yep. Um, to hopefully yep. catch any stragglers. So you wanna make a, should make a motion to make it six. What is it now? 6.30? Six, 6.15. 6.15 six, six six right now. I put the signs up last. Two weeks ago. Six o'clock would be before sunset. Correct, right now. And then next week, we would have to go to 545. Okay. So I'll make a motion to change the closing of the parks to six o'clock. Yep. Uh, well, I second, but I don't think we need to. We already uh, we're going to do it 15 minutes. Uh, so that's yep. it. That's just, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I will up the sign up. put up some more signs. Put them up there. We just need to send the email yep. and That's change the, the two signs. Change signs. And I will print up more signs right. and stapling them to every tree and post I can find. And we can automatically change it next week to six to five forty five. And next week I'll do five forty five. Correct. And we'll send out another email. Come on. 
Uh, hopefully by then we get a frost. One, one quick frost. One quick we had two up there. There's a quick one. Well, it, it's the hard yeah. frost that you need, kills you need, the triple. Yeah, the quick one doesn't do it. Oh. Just let you know. I know. It's going to be a hard so frost. I know. I just been. Like that wasn't enough. Four. Wasn't we were exactly. like that no. close. No. Up in Maine, we had back to back Saturday, no. Saturday and Sunday. I'm There's walking the dog, and it was, it was, it looked like snow. It was white. It was a good. It was 28 degrees. <laughs> So that was a good that was a good frost, but not down here. Free and easy living. So we'll go six o'clock, and next week we'll post it to five forty-five. What day are you going to send out the email? I'll send it out tomorrow morning. And next week? I'll send it out Monday morning. So Monday. All right. I just want to be posting <laughs> the same day you are. That's all. Send it out tomorrow morning. Send it out next Sunday night. It's for Monday, and I'll print up some more signs. Uh, any other general updates for Ted Williams Camp? Yeah. Um, the fertilizer went down, as you guys are aware. Good. Uh, if you look, the, um, the um, clover is dying, dead or dying. So it actually kind of gives the grass a look of not being as green as it was. Right. Um, nobody said anything to me yet, but I'm waiting. In case anybody says anything to you, it's okay. It's a good thing. Um, it's the clover that's dying, not the, not the grass, and the grass will grow up through it. Um, it doesn't look bad, it's just not as green as it was. Yeah, it's been green all year. We've been very fortunate. Yeah. Um, other than that, oh, um, Nellie, yes. you are wrong. No, what? <laughs> we sent, um, we sent uh, Bobby and uh, Mike over to get that, that um, sign in front of t Town Hall, oh. and it, 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 is, it is in concrete, yeah. Cause see, I dug and I could feel the underneath, and I was like, "Oh yeah, no, it, there's no, there's no like big chunk, there's nothing." And I, I was just digging, and I was like, "We could no. do that. Mm -hmm. We could, we could, we could just take a sawzall and cut it. And we, can and attack, we can make it add a new, add a couple boards, a little post, and throw on the ground. How could you feel underneath if there was? Did you send me the picture? Because I tried to show the corner, and I had dug through the corner, and there was no concrete. Maybe and I could put thought. my hand under. You sent me a picture? I thought so. If I didn't, I have one. I'll show it to you later. But I could I could get my hand under and he then... Said, he said they went over there and started digging it up and they hit concrete. So the, op the option is cut it off yep. or ask uh, Franklin to go over with a backhoe and dig cut it out. It. You gotta cut it anyway after that, right? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, you, you just cut it off anyway. You're not gonna right. put it back on the ground. So with, let's, let's just cut it, and then we'll get some, you know, get some small pressure treated four by four posts, attach it to it, dig a hole, put it well, on the ground. You'll be cutting. You'll be cutting the four by four, the the four, by four yes. right in the middle of it. I think if it's tall like, enough, then we can just put it right in the ground. That's what I'm thinking. It's if it's not tall enough, then we'll have to put a little extension onto it. Yeah. Yeah, and if we drop some concrete in here too, we don't have to go that deep, and it'll be fine. All right, um, what else did I have? Um, I think that was it. Um, as you guys know, we're, we're getting ready to close everything up for the winter. Um, you know, uh, Cliff Pond Park is done. Yeah. You do that. Um, I think we have two more weeks at John Pond that we got to, well, we'll talk about that later. Yep. And then here, um, he usually waits until the 1st of November to blow out the pipes, or drain the pipes and stuff for, um, but if we get a real cold spell, we'll have to do it before, before that. But um, other than that, we're good. I have a question. Um, there's a light down at the haunted house. haunted house building. There's a security light that's on. If they're no longer in operation, who's paying that bill? Are we paying a bill? Does anybody know? No, well, I see. There's no bill that says haunted house, so it's connected to something else. That's it what it, well, is it a light or is it like one of these that are on battery? No, it's it's on sometimes and off sometimes. Okay. And on other times and is it solar? I haven't walked down there. It looks like it's just a, a floodlight. Because I have like a floodlight that's solar, so it comes on when it's dusk enough. Mm -hmm. it's not, it's it, not, it, there's no. It could be. No juice to it. Yep, it could be. Um, I suppose we can take a walk down and check. Yeah. I can do that. I'm not going down. Yep. If it's, if it's supposed to be, I want to just keep it though. In case you oh, yeah. No, no. I mean, you know. no, it's probably, I, I'm just curious as to who's paying the bill. Yeah. Because it's been on since last year. 
when they tied up their books. It was on the last meeting. We last had. meeting we and looked. We it looked and it was on. Yeah. So we, 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 we stand on that. I don't want to jump off topic, but uh, do we have any other, anybody else wants to go in there for like next year? Or not doing this I, year? I've obviously. heard scuttlebutt that someone wanted to go in there, and, but no one's approached us. It's a lot of work, too. Yep. Who would they go to if they wanted to do it? Would it be us, us or would it be like, it would, it would be SEM, right? No. They'd yes. come to us. Okay. Yeah. You're excited. Here Most right. likely they have to get that sort of in order because yep. Lakeville Haunted House closed their books and then if they're going to try to redo it, everything's got to get switched and it, the name and everything. We put that out at all like on our website saying, hey, you know, if somebody wants to take this over, people know it. I mean, group and family groups might want to do it, might not know we're not doing it this year. Well, it's not being done this year. They might want to look at it next year, take it over, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they, they posted on their website that it wasn't going to be open this year. But uh, so we want to post a, hey, we're looking for a tenant. Well, that, that's, that's the question. Do, I know it's good money, it's but a it's a lot of headache. Money. Yeah, huge headache. Because it does, it does affect here mm -hmm. when that's going on. Um, it's a catch-22, you know, it's one of those deals. I mean, the money's nice, but, um, you know, I mean, we got... We got uh, feedback because you know they wanted us to pay you know four thousand or two thousand dollar electric bill to, to work on the building we're like no we're not paying it for a building that's condemned <laughs> you know so I mean that that's that's something that if somebody comes in and you know they've got to they've got to get everything up to snuff as far as the the, the, the uh, building inspector and the fire department um, they can't use the building um, it's got to be out, outside. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of work, in which I have not seen anybody down here cleaning up. There's a lot of cleanup to be done. It's a pigsty down there. There's, there's boards and fences and electrical wires and things all over the place. They usually start in like May or something. Oh, June. They're, they're out there in June. Yeah, they're out there in June starting yeah. prep work for, the, for that year. I'd like to point out too that it would have been a terrible shame for these folks to have done all that work over the summer mm -hmm. because mm. Right, we would have, have shut them down. They would have had to cancel how, it. How, yeah. how could we have? How could we? Give conscience. We gave them a heads up too that we because there was that whole they had to do like electrical bills and that was yep. a, that was a pretty fair thing by everyone. But right, they knew that a big bill was coming. Right, same like and, and 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 like Mike's saying. I mean, you know, we we can't let. We're not letting kids out there practice. How can we let people stand here uh, waiting to walk through an outdoor yeah. right. venue uh, in the state park? We wouldn't be able to. A lot of Halloween Standing stuff is moving during the day this year. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, with the Triple E, right? Uh, we would have. Yeah. There's all kinds of discussion on what people are going to do for Halloween. Right. They don't want to bring their kids out. Yeah. So it's tough. It's tough here. Yeah. And so, I don't know if that's going to be any better next year. No, right. It's like a three-year. So the cleanup, if these guys walk away from it, it's like they have. Which they have. Who's, I mean, in case of all those stuff staying, it's just be going to fall on us. That's what we have to do. I mean, it's going to fall on us. Right, it's going to fall sooner rather than later then, right? I mean, yeah. next month or two, maybe? Yeah, when it's not so hot, yeah. And, and maybe we get a, a frost so that we're not out there. <laughs> you know, whoever's out there is not out there in the, in the, in the, yeah. in the, um, mm -hmm. yeah, the question, we have that, uh, I mean, the question at that point is, do we get a dumpster and clean it up, or do we just try to clean it up enough in case someone else does want to take it over? I mean, yeah, you're right. It's a it's a huge question mark. Yeah. Have we got any feedback back from them? I mean, because we should. I mean, I'm ready to get the old lumpers and go down there and cut the. No. Cut the lock off and put one of our locks on it. If they're done. Yeah, I, I mean, we asked, we've asked for a key. I, I they're said, just, they're just all, they don't, they're done. Right. right. Yeah. But the, the comment was that they were coming back to clean out their stuff. Yeah, I think that was the last and we've that never I heard, from heard and that was yeah. a lot. I, I got it. It doesn't yeah, seem like they're ever coming. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot just of... cutting, it doesn't mean they can't get their stuff. Just no, just right. But there's a lot of inventory in there. I mean, I know there was, like, cords and... Can we know. invoice them for the dumpster and expect any money? No. <laughs> no, the books are closed. They have, they're yeah, having, they yeah well, the line, the line they gave us about the books being closed, I, I do know profits. <laughs> so, yeah, the last, it's a line. The last communication was, a line. Is, was August 5th, yeah. saying that they were going to clean it out ASAP. Right. And we've never seen or heard from them. Yeah, it's got the lock. You know, so. Um, 
because it, it, it's a problem. I mean, I've, I've walked the dog by there and there's kids up there on the roof, climbing up on the roof, and they're going in somehow, but they're climbing up on the roof, but somehow going in. Are they actually going in, you think? Well, they were going up on the roof and then they disappeared. Oh. So they went someplace, <laughs> you know, and the building's condemned. condemned. So do we see this condemned, that was ours, are we liable for something that's hurt over there now? The town so would be. We yeah. need to get some of them for maintenance or to close that roof off, whatever. Hold it up. It's not worth fixing. Right. No, but just so, so they can't win it, they hurt themselves. Right. Yes. If there's like I mean, a whole roof that they're just. We should probably find out, go down. I mean, I didn't go up on the roof and, yeah. and search it because. Go your size better than us. I, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, and that's what I said to the kids. I said, hey guys, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but this roof's unsafe. We don't want you falling through the roof, you know? And they're like, Rrr. I'm like, hey, you can't be down here. At least a sign. Right? Yeah, no trespassing. We should be putting yeah. up something. Yeah, that would hold us. Yeah. Okay. Um, sports seasons. I don't have a lot of updates. It's kind of the not the off season, but it's a pretty pretty fully functional season with soccer. A um, couple of things. The only real thing that's going to happen with pickleball is if we paint the court. So that's a whole different decision we have to make. So we can, which we're not going to make right now. So we'll have to address that at some point. That'll force them to do more stuff, and we can get into that whole fun, fun thing. Um, soccer's pretty self-sufficient. Yep. Uh, they've been abiding by the Triple E. That's what really all I care about. Yep. And the only other thing would be football rotating around um, because they were in their original spot. Then we had to move, and there were some complaints about that. So just I think they've been moving around pretty well. Yeah, I do notice one group um, that kind of just locates themselves just inside the fence, kind of down the right field line of yeah. field, of field one. Yeah. Um, and if you look, it's, it's getting beat up. The other group that's out here in field six, they're all over the place. They're, 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 all, they're over here, they're yeah. over there. They're, move, they're moving around. But that complaint was more from SEM, wasn't it? That they're... But that wasn't a complaint. I'm saying they, I, I saw them moving no, to different locations, which was a good thing. Yeah. They weren't in one spot. Um, maybe the only thing that we could ask of them is just not to leave the tackling dummies out here by the flagpole. Yep. If they can bring them back towards the maintenance building, and I think that was because it sat there all winter last year, yep. right out here in the middle. Yeah, until we moved it. Right. And then they ask where it is. So, right. 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 But I mean, if they just, when they're done using it, just push it back over there near the maintenance building, it's out of the way. Yeah, every mm -hmm. sports team does that, right? Um, and Tim's been great. So Tim is, I think he's new. Uh, yeah, I've he, never seen him before. Awesome, super, super good great. communicator. Um, now, is, is there a group down behind field three? Yeah, I think so. so yeah, yeah, I was going to say, because I didn't see them so much over here behind field two. Yeah. Um, so I was assuming, I know they have three teams, so I thought, I, yeah, I just never saw them, so I'm like, that's great. Yeah. And that's a great it. spot. Yeah, exactly. It's good grass. That's where Joe used to run uh, T-ball. Yeah. It was a good spot out there. Yeah. So yeah, they've been, they've been pretty good about it. So if we see, if you guys see that it's getting beat up, I think I'm going to try to communicate with Mike as, Mike as much as we can about it. But every time I call him, he says, yeah, no problem. And he, the coaches generally do what he says. Yeah. So. I mean, like I said, the only, the only thing I did see was right. anytime I came through, they were just inside the fence down the right field line. That yep. one group was just right there. Yeah. The other groups that I saw, like one I never saw, yep. and this other group was out here. Yeah. I think there's less damage to the fields. Good. So yeah. whatever they're doing. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. No. I I walked out here and it doesn't look. I bad did the at same all. thing. I was looking for spots. But, but I think yeah. part of that is, is is that the grass has been healthy. Yeah. And it's yeah. been green and yeah. we've yeah. gotten rain. Yeah. In right. past seasons, it just dried up in the fall. Right. And the grass was brown and and now it's beat up. Yeah. And the only the only spot you notice that it's really beat up and perfectly fine is out behind field three. Right. Yeah. Um, they, they, the younger kids go over there. It's a great spot. It's, it's beat up over there, but that's yeah, definitely spot. That's a great spot. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Well, I'm glad it's a little bit better. So Yeah, no, no. I'll give them a heads up on one. Again, I, they're, they're pretty good about it, so I'll try to move it around. Yeah, that's all. I can't imagine it's much longer, right? How long does it go till? Um, Thanksgiving? They play until November. Yeah, unless somebody makes the playoffs. Okay. You know, um, but hopefully by then we have a frost. Otherwise because then they may practice under the lights yeah. if we have a frost, um, which usually one team made the playoffs, so they would be playing a little bit later than the other okay. teams. I think that's it for sports. Oh, and then the, uh, the girl that was um, running the clinic, right? Down uh, here. Sarah. Yeah, uh, finally, thanks to Nellie, got her insurance paperwork in, so that's all set. I don't even know if she's doing anything right now, but that she kind of understands it now. So if she ever did do something, it should be pretty straightforward. What about the group that wanted to come in here on, on field five and um, take out the mound and 
Justin's been in touch with them. The Drifters? I, I spoke Sarah to them. St. Don? Oh, uh, Sarah St. Don. Oh. Drifters. I, I spoke to them. Yeah. I, no, not to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was, there was, there was talk, basically open agreement to just, that nobody uses Fail 5, so yeah. just they can use it whenever they want. Yeah. But I didn't think they have improvements, it's a tough No, no, they want to take them out. That's, you know, they, they, and I, when I spoke to them, they said, well, we didn't talk to Mike, we talked to Linda. Yeah, I don't care you spoke to Linda, yeah. It's yeah. not going, so. <laughs> well, Linda asked me, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. no, I'll, I'll call, I called Joe, and I called, you know, I'm like, you know, yeah. come on. But she's been out there, like, um, dragging it for him. Yeah. So. Yeah, as long as they're using it, great. Yeah. 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 Good, that's all I have, so. Okay, John Palm Park updates. Um, not much. Uh, the, the, the unit, the bathroom unit, it was pumped out and it works. For some reason, they called me the next day after we did it on Friday, I worked fine. Of course, Sunday morning, they gave me a call. Hey, it's not flushing, something's not wrong. Are you even kidding me? I go down there, I, it flushed. I don't know what it was, I don't know what magical touch is, but it worked. But they were all going crazy because the little kids said, said it wouldn't flush. Mr. Cesspool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, That's uh, what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, so it's up and running nicely. The problem we have now, now that now they go up this past weekend, um, one by day Monday night, or Sunday night, last Sunday night, lights on in the bathroom. You know, seven o'clock at night, no one's around. You know, and they have two of them were locked up. The, the handicapped one was unlocked, lights on, power still running. Close it all up. I get a hold of Free Town Lake. Well, oh, none of our guys did it. You must. The only one there. Yeah. So I said, you know, he said, I said, I spoke to all the coaches. I said, well, who's the last one to leave? Oh, I spoke to that coach. He left at 4.15. I said, was anybody else there? No. Then he left it unlocked, didn't he? <laughs> it was okay. Right. So then what we did, I took the, the key out of the snack shack lockbox for the bathrooms. And I put it in the lockbox that's on the shed for Freetown Lakeville. So only those people have access to the thing. Because, okay, so no one else is going in there. Just, no one else was, but it's okay. So then they had another incident this weekend something different, <laughs> they said that the drifters on there on Sunday went into their shed that was unlocked because they were using it and used some of their line and equipment. That's so them and them. still playing with that stuff. So anyway, other than that, bathroom's running fine now. We'll have to puff the pump though again before we winterize it. I'll get a hold of that guy see if he can I'll give you a tutorial on, on, on winterizing it and then if we're going to keep it there or not, we, we can do that. Right. That's that's a discussion we need to, Yeah. you know. Yeah. What, the, what, What's up that? No, go ahead. The, the bunker rig, they did say they would, you know, consider what do you want for it, we're going on out there, but they wouldn't mind taking that on, the bunker rig there. Right. The question they asked is, okay, who's going to maintain the fields for other people who are using the fields? Are they going to be responsible? And oh, they're not going to drag it to someone else. So I said, well, you know, I was looking and said, maybe we can find it. I guess we've got an old um, golf cart or an ATV, an old one or an old mower. We can just put a, a dragger on there. We can leave that for anybody to use. You know, saying well, it's until not, this year, that's they dragged it by hand. Yeah, they have, they still have that. Yeah, uh, there's an old tractor piece. in that shed. I don't know, you know, I don't know if you know about that thing at all. Yeah. They could ever get it running or not. I, I'm going to tell, hey guys, if you get that running, then that would be a machine to use. Put a dragger on it, a manual one. Then you have the bunker rate to whatever. So yeah, we'll see what happens. That old, you know, the old yellow tractor that's been there since you were a little kid. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, have, right I doubt that that. Yeah. yeah. I doubt that. <laughs> the, the 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 unit that the, that uh, the the portable wash station I put that in the snack shack that's in there now so I guess we'll leave it there it's in the snack it's it's in the snack shack because yeah. it, yeah. it, it was underneath there the Doug put it oh, down underneath because he, the, he, put it in there. Put it he didn't have keys to the he didn't yeah. have keys to that so that's in there so we just give up the, the bunker rake maybe these guys can take ownership of it this year I don't know if there's any problem with the town if we if we were to sell it to them for oh we got to check on that yeah. You're going to be calling them anyway, right? You can ask them. <laughs> Question number four. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, and then the other, the other door that down that downstairs there, I blocked it up with some, uh, somebody. People have been going in there for what? I have no idea what they've been doing in there. But the lights the are on underneath there, the old bathroom area. There's lights in there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't up, on, up on top. I don't know how many found them. The light switches up over the door. But anyway, I went in there one, one day, the lights are on. Who's going in there? 
I don't know who's going in there. Because the door is always open. I keep closing. So it's open. So I got to find out something to put on there so I can either hold it shut or I'll yep, put it on there or something. We can, we can, um, maybe we can ask Nate if he's got some idea of how we can get it shut. Is this $85 the cost to pump that out? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. a deal. That is a deal. If, if that's the case, we should yeah. have it done a couple and he of times says, season. He did say it was about 300 gallons he took out of there. Now, how, we, how accurate is, I don't know. I thought, the thing I looked at is it was like 375. What's it take? What's a whole? I thought it was 250, but I thought it was 375. It could be 375, but it wouldn't have shut off. It was, yeah. Right. If, if that's the case, then we should definitely think about maybe a monthly, you know, when things are going. Well, we have, we have an idea now. Right, right. That's we what have I'm saying. An idea. So, I mean, I mean, how long was it up and running? A month? Oh, the whole that. summer. Well, I got that. A couple months. Well, no, it wasn't all summer. No, 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 no. I didn't say. Uh, no, it was. It was yeah, yeah. No, it was. Um, I could probably take a look. It might be. I could probably have to be somewhere. Let me put it up there. Yeah. Right, but, but but they're not. It's not that busy in August. I'm saying when we open it up in in April. Yeah. When softball's well, down there and you got yeah. ninety gazillion little kids. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be usable. Oh yeah. But even if it is monthly. That's, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm way saying, cheaper than rent. No, I'm just trying to get the value. I'm going to get the manufacturing guy down there and I'll try to see if we can tell how many right. things it has. There's, there's a, a thing on there, but I couldn't get it to really read right. So I want to see if we can find out how many flushes it had for his, the whole history, I guess. Right. Yeah, how many it's supposed have. to tell you yeah. when you have 60 flushes left. Yeah. We, it's supposed we, to be an alarm. I was looking at that. Yeah. We, I got it to do it, but I couldn't override it. Yeah. Try to override it. Yeah. Just so it would clean. Yeah. Yeah. So we wouldn't, you know, they could use for the day and we'll have it yeah. done. And it's right. supposed to be an audible alarm that says that, so you can override it to go with the extra 60 flushes, you know, to get it, you know. I never heard any alarm. Happen. No, no one said anything. I'm sure they would have called me if they did. <laughs> so, yeah. but Linda's been doing a nice job cleaning it, so I give her credit for that. She really has been. Good, yeah. so, good. No, we just get it on, on a well. schedule. We got to keep that on a schedule. Yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, Joe, we should go down a, and measure it up. Area-wise, length times width times height, so yeah. maybe we can find out what a cover would cost. Yep. Um, yep. We, we could, could get a trailer. I'll, 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 that's, that's one I'll question. Companies, they might have something like that already for that. Yeah. They might have one that's already made. Oh yeah. Do yeah. Or, or we can get it down there. Just get a get a, a, a big tariff from the, well, from the from the um, campus store. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's what they. That's I'll, they see if, I'll see if there's something already made for that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, you can get one for a 25 foot trailer for 250 bucks. Yeah. You know, so if that's what we want to do, if we want to keep it there, I would, my suggestion would be to cover it up, tighten it up, mm -hmm. you know, um, and then just, if anybody's going by, stop in and check on it, you know? Yeah. Um, I know you drive by every day, and I don't mean, mean it that for you to do that every day, but. Um, oh, I, I did get a hold of the town plumber, did I tell you? No. Um, and then we look at a ditch which Danny, that's all I heard. But right, because Danny Freo, yeah. that's his name, right? Danny Freo, yeah. Um, he, hasn't come back to me yet, uh, but he's going to go down and get his, get his quote right. on what it would cost to run a, uh, a line. He said we could save some money if someone like from from uh, softball has one of those ditch ditch witches. Well, yeah. well, let's ask him. I asked him already that last, last week um, we spoke. We only had one, but I'll ask him again. So we should quotes. just get a quote for having to put in. Like, that can't be that much to rent one of those for a half a day or something. Yeah. So he said that that's the best way to do it. And that way, you can, he said it runs down that way. So all you would have to, you don't have to blow it out. He said you could just shut it off, open it up, and drain open it, it up down at the at the um, at the unit, yeah. and it'll yeah. drain it's out. It'll be fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I also talked to him about winterizing the actual uh, pump, of the um, the well pump and mm -hmm. stuff, because the last two years it's frozen. So yeah. Um, oh, yeah. he, he's going to look into that too. Okay. This is just. Well, he told me what to do. I said, uh, I'm not a plumber. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not a plumber. I don't mind. But I'll let you know. All right. Thanks. Who do we speak to if we want to get some stone delivered here for their driveway? From the highway department, whoever it is. Who can you know? Either that or we just, or we, or we call a well. It dump, washed out pretty good. You have them dump it Dump below. Like, it means nothing. Nothing. We can yeah. check with, we can check with um, Franklin and see if they have any. Yeah. That they're not, you know, not planning to use. I mean, yeah. like he did with the loom. I mean, he was able to give us some organics and some loom yeah. that they weren't going to use. Um, I don't know if they have stone, you know, or they may have to purchase it, just like we would have to do. Yeah. 
but I think he gets a better, he gets like a, a deal. You know, know, gets it at a certain rate. At a rate. Yep. Because we can sell Dumpty in a little bit, you know, just different spots. We can get the team, the folks on Freetown Lake will help us spread it, I think. I guess those guys will. Yep. So I, I guess the first question is to reach out to him and see what if the process or, or if, you know, he did the ordering and then um, get it dumped and then let Freetown Lake will spread it. Yeah, we could save some money, do it at the same time as Clear Pond Park parking area, too. Probably. Yep. Yeah, because you talked that was a That was a, a strange one because that's never happened before. I mean, it's been wet, yeah. damp, but never like it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Now, speaking of Franklin, I did call him about, we talked about the entrances. Trimming the entrances. And, and he said that um, provided his machine can do it, you know, that they don't like do tree trees. I said, no, it's just no, like just, just branches and stuff. Yes, the branches, yeah. He would have some, if they were busy that no, day. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my, my thing was, you know, the next time they were out doing it, if they could yeah. you know, swing by and, and do it, that would yeah. be great. But I did contact him. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, just to go back, uh, I, I forgot one thing. Uh, Ted Williams Camp, um, the stump that's out here, could you talk to Mike? Because last year he was going to rent a stump grinder for us and get rid of this stump. So now with Joe gone, he probably won't be able to do it. The one right by the street? The, the one that's out in the road that they should have taken out when they put the tower in? <laughs> okay. He probably won't want to do it because it'll be him doing it. Unless he can do probably it. Probably put a, yeah, do it on a big sign on it that says, slow down, or you'll hit me. <laughs> I mean, you know, twice, twice I've put reflectors on it and the kids have come along and smashed them, so I'm not doing it again. We can just spray paint it bright orange. Yeah, and then they'll then spray painted black. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Translucent paint. Um, but those. Yeah, he was going to do it last year, and then he went on vacation, so it didn't happen. Yeah, I got to talk to him, make sure that doesn't happen again this year. Yeah. Um, now, where are they going to store if they purchase? If we do sell that to them, don't know yet. Don't know. Okay. I'm assuming maybe the off season they'll take it somewhere else. I would. I would if they leave it there, it's going to rust. Yeah. It's going to be a rust bucket when yeah. they get in there. I talked to them about maybe they can build this. Yeah, they were thinking about maybe building another shed so they can drive someone out. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. But we'll see on that one. Yeah. There's, there's some nice improvements I'm going to make over there too. Which is yep. Nice. And uh, I'm I'm just going to jingle Nate and see if um, because he is the facility building facilities manager. Is some way we can secure that bottom somehow, whether it's welded yeah. or something we can do to those bottom, yeah. those bottom doors. No, yeah, people, I don't know what no we don't want anybody in there. It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a, it's a hazard, and somebody's going to get hurt, and then the town's going to be liable. Yeah. It's the same question as the on house. On house, absolutely. And so there's, so there's two things for Nate: <laughs> haunted house, and I'm going to be a busy boy tomorrow. Yeah, you are. Found that picture. Did you? Okay, nope. do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you go with John Pond right so now. What you were failing so was the I'm just gonna, PVC. I'm just going to I'm just going to throw okay, out the, so the, the, was further? On the on the John Pond John Pond Park is to um, maybe for next meeting we can decide the winterization either we're just going to yep. cover it up and, and leave it there, yeah, or we're going to bring it back here, yeah, make that decision so we can move forward with that. Uh, Route 18 fields. Okay. Um, I don't know if anybody's got it. Take a look. I was yeah. there today. Yeah. Looks great. Green, green, green. green. Um, took some pictures. <laughs> you guys haven't seen it. Send them to Nelly. I'll put them yeah. in. Uh, I, I, I got a I got it. Oh, yeah, all of them are there in a folder you know, on, the, um, on our good. Facebook page. Talked to um, Mark today because he was looking for yep. his check. And also, um, we need to talk about that um, starter fertilizer application. So he said, <laughs> he said, well, there's a couple spots that haven't germinated yet, but they will shortly. I'm like, I don't know, it looks pretty green to me. <laughs> but um, the, the, around some of the caps, did, the, did he take care of that? Amazing. Because some of the caps were like the dirt was. He's still was, working on it. He's still working on okay. Yeah, yeah he, he specifically left those open like okay. that because he's still working on them. Um, his, if you notice, his truck is still down there. Yep. He said that um, if he, when he does, if you look at this picture here, you can see that you, know, you can see the um, um, it's like lines of um, weeds that came up. Yeah. Mostly on field one. Right. 
Um, I said, well, what about the weeds? And he said, well, if, if, if you want to get the, the starter fertilizer put down at the same time, we'll, we'll spray that as we go. It'll, it'll take care of it right away. I don't know. So um, the question is, um, do we want to, uh, he gave me a quote, I'm sorry, of $850 for both fields to put down starter fertilizer for it. Um, he wanted to put two applications down. I'm thinking um, if we just have it done once before the end of the growing season, we'll be, we'll be good. Is it half the cost? Mm -hmm. Is it, would that be half the cost? $850 for one for application. He wanted to do it twice. Got it. And I said, yeah. but um, uh, he, I, I would like to get to take care of the, um, the weeds. Are we under budget on the fertilizer for the piece of the park anyway, right? Not really. It, didn't you say, this is a, wasn't there an update on the fertilizer for, the, for this park? Yeah, it's been done. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. yeah, that was what I was talking about with the um, clover. Yeah, 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 okay. That was a regular application along with broadleaf. Got it, okay. Um, now, um, yeah, let me just maybe think of something else. I'll, I'll come back to it. So um, I would make the recommendation that we have him go ahead and do that for $850. I asked Mike about doing it, and he, you know, we don't have the, it has to be walked walk behind because it's, it's, you can't drive a, uh, a tractor over yet. Um, by next spring, we can probably fertilize it ourselves, just buy the fertilizer and do it like we do the rest of the park. But I don't think we can do that right now. So um, if he can do for $850, he can do the fertilizer and take care of the weeds, I would recommend that we have him go ahead and do that. I mean, it seems logical to protect our $75,000 investment. <laughs> well, yeah. I, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't spit it out quick enough, Justin. Thank you. Right. I, can I, we afford, I, do we have, I mean, we have the... Is the bill going to get paid? I mean, yeah. <laughs> we got can, can, it, can it come out of some other budget, like fertilizer budget or something? Well, we, we, still have, we still have money in the materials. We, we've only spent a third of the... A third of the budget. Well, you must have do it very wisely. Increase that budget for this year. Oh, it's got to be because we, 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 because we knew we were going to have extra. Right. We did yeah. bump it up. Um, probably not enough. Yeah, we bumped it up um, from ten to twelve one. Yeah. So we, okay. I'd like to see we book up the book to get we do start doing John Pond maybe next year for yep. fertilizer. Yep. If we don't do that at all, that could. Yeah, no, you're right. It's been a long time since uh, since that's been hit with fertilizer. How does that grow so well? Because it's very wet. It's very wet. The top yeah. field is very wet. Yeah. All, all three fields are, 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 are yeah. damp. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and they hold water. Three really holds it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, three really holds it. Right. Well, three was built on a swamp. Yeah. Um, and one was a swamp. Yeah. When they built it. So, what was that, a motion? Um, well, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to get a motion on the floor to um, have Northeast Hydro Seed for $850 put down style fertilizer. And, 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 and we take care of the all. Yeah. yeah. Do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion? No. Um, currently, there is, there is money in the budget. Um, so. But we usually get fertilizer in like May. Right. That's when we get the big one, yep. which is the rest of the park, and we're just going to have to include that and that, and maybe um, get some for better leaves coming down to the Ted Park. Mm -hmm. That would be a good thing. Um, all good those thing. in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. That'd be a good thing to get. Uh, oh, sorry. Unanimous. That'd be, good. <laughs> That'd be a good thing to get some of these groups that are interested in using. Yep. Kick in some. Yeah, well, you know. let's, well, I was going to ask that next question. Is, is there a subcommittee? I, 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 I think we need to because um, when Mike and I were on the soccer board, we used to the soccer used to pony up. I don't know five or ten thousand um, uh, dollars, and, and and pay for fertilizer. Yeah. Um, now it's been assumed by the parks to take care of all this. Yeah. yeah. You know. So I think I think we need to talk to all these groups and say, yeah. Yeah. you know, we need a little extra. We've lost twelve thousand dollars of revenue. Um, we're going to need, and maybe we can come up with some formula. The flip of that is you change fees for anybody who uses fields that are fertilized. Not that you want to do that either. Also, no. I, when I was talking to Franklin last week, he was explaining he's you know he had this our kind of our position in uh, New Bedford, and he said all of the every one of the sports in the whole town 
took care of all of their own fields. Right down to mowing them, mowing them, fertilizer, everything. They paid for everything. That's a big city. Yep. So. I, I think maybe we we. Just think for going I, was just suggesting. I, I think I, I, like, I think maybe over the winter we maybe come up with me. some type of a some type of a, a system, um, whether it's based on participation yep. or what, and maybe come up with some type of a fee. And we could we're going to have to charge have two for different fees. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't change volleyball or horseshoe. No, no, right? They wouldn't. They wouldn't be affected by it. But everybody else. Had but softball, yeah. football, and it solves the whole problem too. Actually. Yeah, and it would help. And it would help with that with that situation. You're right. Um, so I think it's something that we look at this winter. Maybe come up with some type of a um, a, a guesstimate of you know maybe we look at an additional ten thousand dollars yep. over all the groups that use the fields and come up with some type of a way to assess that figure. Yeah, J just from working with someone that has been so as a, I am the director of the girls lacrosse program. Anybody these teams. The built-in, whatever it is, fifteen dollars per head is that's almost nothing. Right. Like these, these teams are paying hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars oh, right. a season. So to make it what we think it needs to be is it's not gonna blow it out. There, people aren't gonna people aren't gonna be able to not field teams. It'll be like, oh it's another five, ten dollars mm -hmm. or whatever. Well, it's it's very simple. We, you know, if you if you like green grass, right. well grass, period, this is what we have to do. Yeah. And we just pointly say, you know, we just lost a ten thousand dollar, yep. twelve thousand dollar nut. Yep. I mean no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, yep. we, we always look at it like doing the right thing and making it, I, I totally get it, but the, the, what the people are actually paying to play on those teams and what we charge is it's dropping the bucket. Oh, the AAU teams. Yeah, all of them. They pay thousands of dollars to play right. AAU and we charge them $500. Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. One, one kid, a third of his fee pays for the use of the field. Yeah. And they're not even our, they're not even our town groups. Exactly. You know, and we think we're charging them. Some exorbitant amount. Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> we're not. We'll tackle it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe we look at some of those types of things, and maybe we come yeah. up with. A and I can do some of the math on that too. Yeah. What you know, how many kids? The average kids. I'll need some help on that. And yeah. Just kind of propose something that, at least options. So what we can do as a board yeah, for all the groups, right, right down, right down to ladies blue ball and and ladies soccer. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. And then we're now we're fertilizing John Pond and all that stuff. So. Right. Yeah. Right. And and by all means, you know, I mean, if if we're charging them, we need we need to take care of their yeah. fields too. Yeah. Absolutely. Makes sense. I think it's a good idea. Um, something maybe we can come up with this winter. Um, bill from Dina. It hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, he called me this morning. Um, I don't know what's. I it was. He he said the same thing I did. He, apparently, he's been in touch with them as well, and they said that they were going to give it to him two weeks ago, and they, uh, that they, was, they were going to send it to him last week, and. That's what they told me. They said, oh, we'll, we'll mail it out this week. Don't know. So I'll have to contact them. The other thing with DNM, not to change the subject, but yep. he keeps sending me these additional bills, which I know it was additional because we ended up having to go with a bigger pump than was originally, originally quoted. He quoted originally with a <coughs> three quarter horsepower pump system. And we ended up having to get a one and a half horsepower pump. But he just sent me a bill for twenty three hundred dollars. I, I know. For what? For the pump, cable, um, two hundred feet of poly pipe. Wouldn't um, that be included in his guesstimate in the beginning? Well, the estimate in the beginning um, was uh, down to uh, sixty feet. And he was, he estimated on like regular size pipe and regular, regular size. So there is going to be an upcharge. Right, but not the whole thing. But not $2,300. Right, I mean, but there's an upcharge from. The difference, what, correct. Right, the difference, that's what, right. I, mean, that's what I was getting at. And same with right. the pump. Same, right. It should only be a, a, an increase. Right, so, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to get him to the bulk of it paid um, from, uh, Soccer, but um, we're still going to have to discuss this with them. I yeah. got to get Danny involved because yeah. first he sent me a bill for um, nineteen hundred dollars, and I, I and I said, well, this is not right. So they sent me a check for twenty three hundred dollars. So you're going the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So again, so just like yeah. the other yeah. bill, why don't we uh, table that for now? And, okay. Um, so. 
Um, was I, I, I didn't look down there, but was Mike able to finish the mowing around down there? Where? Down in the new fields. No. Okay. No. I, I yeah. I, I, I know he's one guy right now. I, I understand he's, it. Yeah, and he's, no, he's, he's talking at that saying he's afraid he's going to flip the machine over. I'm not even talking the sides. Oh. I'm talking when you drive in on the left-hand yeah. side. Yeah. He left the whole middle of it, not mowed. Yeah. He mowed around it in yeah. the middle. Well, they of... did it one time. They right. had three guys over there doing it yeah. when we had people here. And, and now, yeah. No, and I know he's by himself. I understand. I just, yeah. I just, no, it needs to be done. Okay. Yeah. And I would love to do something to get those sides knocked down as well. Yep. But I, I, I think we should probably wait until everything's dead. Because if you cut it down now, all the spores and stuff are going to go over to, into the grass. Yeah, we don't and, 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 and cause more weeds. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a professional, but I'm just thinking that. <laughs> we don't need more weeds. <laughs> no. Nope. So. Okay. Um, any other old business? Yeah, I got a couple things. Um, did you hear anything more about a shed being built for the voting supplies? Um, it's still being talked about. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you all were aware it was thrown out there. Um, they had a little difficulty getting back into the building because there was somebody on the having a meeting on the right hand side my question was how are you getting in the building anyhow who has a key <laughs> well I found that out um, but so the proposal was to maybe build a shed like ours either beside it or behind it or I know behind it there is a septic system and there's wires and there's a spigot yep so maybe right beside our shed and this would get all of the voting material out of the left hand side of our shed so that we could actually use it yeah. our, our office because my, my my feeling is and that was the whole reason behind cleaning it out last year was we got the new not new but we got the old conference table so we now have two there's two there's one on the right and there's one on the left and we could have soccer meet in there rather than in our nicely new painted office so we can keep it nice mm -hmm. and um but then it got filled up with voting material so um i don't know if they're waiting to hear from us or not but um that was the the talked about it was thrown at me at a at a, at a, a department head meeting um what did i think about this and i said well it would get it out of our I mean, I'm not crazy about building another building, but it would get it out of our office, and then we could utilize our office. That's not going to fall on us, is it? No. <laughs> good to ask. No, good, good question. Right. But no, it would, and it wouldn't be heated. It wouldn't be. They would take care of building it and whatever needs to be done to it. No. Could we stipulate that it's still ours, where they they get to use it? Once it's built on this property. It, Becomes, you know, once once they go someplace else, they're not going to take the shed with them. Um, if they go someplace else to have the elections, then um, I would imagine they take their voting material with them. Yeah. She still want the town building more stuff on on the park, you know. And right. No, no, I agree. I agree. Um, so I'm um, just kind of seeing what you guys think. Um, if there's another alternative. Um, other than having voting someplace else, uh, right now we're stuck with it. What about all the old stuff? Are they going to get rid of that? Or are we going to well, get rid of it? Uh, we threw away a lot of the wooden stuff. The only thing, I don't know if they've got it yet or not, but there were four plastic bins that I've been pleading with them to get rid of for a the year. The ones on wheels? The ones in the back, not the oh, ones okay. in the front. The ones okay. in the front of the, of the new the machines. New ones, yeah. But they took the old bins and just threw them in the back. So they're sitting in the back of the room, and I've asked. So what is the current stuff? Those machines and the you, stuff on the right? If you, in walk, the boxes? In, if you right. walk in the door, right. is, is it, or there's three, because there's three yeah, precincts. There's three, there's three, like, three on the left. They're, 
big bins, probably about this big, and with the voting machine inside it, and they're on wheels, and then the whole right hand side oh, is okay. all the Black voting booths. That's that, all those, okay. those rectangular right. boxes. Those are all the voting booths. So that whole side would come out, and my, the reason I ask mm -hmm. is because if they build a shed the same size as this one out here, it's not going to be big enough. I don't think. I'm just doing off of looking at it There's quickly. There's a lot of flat-packed boxes. They go the whole length yeah. of the, the room. And that room yeah, is probably 16 feet long. No, I'm just, just saying. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, I don't want them to build anything bigger because then now you're going to have two right. buildings Right. They, you know, it'd be crowded. Oh, I mean, they can so, stack them up on top. So they build the shed and then still end up wanting to store stuff inside the building. No. But, so, um, your then, thoughts on that? I think it's kind of a nice thing to work with them on, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Give and take. And it gets us our yeah. room back. Yeah. That if we want to use it for storage, then that's our choice. That's yeah. right. You know, because there is some room in the back where there's some shelving with all the audio um, for the whole camp. It was like 10 shelves, you know, back in the day. You know, you had all these big units for the loudspeaker system, you know, um, and that's all gone. And I had them take out every other shelf. So now there's a space like this. And I said, it's a great spot to store all the janitorial supplies. And we could bring like a curtain across, you know, so you can't see it, you know, yeah. behind the curtain. Um, and then have this room that's probably 16 by 16, yeah. you know, that we can, you know, because we do have lights in there now. Um, we got electricity in there. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few things in there. Um, some storage. We have some a couple shelves on the wall. We have some stuff. Um, we can reorganize it better. Um, but... I, it, would, it would be nice to have the space, and that way I think we can say, come over here and have your meeting. Here's the key. Do we need to vote on it as a group, or is it just still in talks? Um, well, I, they haven't really come to us with any specifics. They, they haven't come to us with any specifics. I just wanted to get um, your feeling if we want to take a vote to let them do it, to build a building the same size as ours. Specifics would be good. But, yeah. but we can get more specifics. I'll ask for more specifics, but the, in general, the board is receptive to the Not idea. It, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they were also going to, they, they were also doing some renovation over there, or they, they may do some renovation over well, there. They may they're, they're, because Nellie is going to have to come over here to the parks for her office. Um, the talk was maybe possibly going in there with SEM, but, you know, like when you have the voting, there's no room in there. Their, their office is a table, and it gets folded up because all the tables and all the chairs are in there. Yep. Um, so that's not gonna work. So we do have, as you go in the right hand side, we do have the room that we're using for the bridal suite. And then the second room is our office, um, per se. There's a copy machine, some files in there, and a desk and everything. The problem is, is, is the building is not insulated. Mm. Or, or let's put it this way, not insulated very well. It was a summer camp, yep. you know? Um, so I mentioned that when they said that, you know, Nellie was going to have to move, and we all knew that. And, and so we were talking about Nate was going to try and get one of the, um, over at the old police station, they have the unit that goes in the wall that's an air conditioner heater. Yeah. Unit. And I'm like, oh, more electric heat, you know? <laughs> I mean, we have the baseboard electric heat, which is very expensive over there now. Um, but needless to say, heating it with no insulation. You know, the windows are junk. They're old crank out windows that either don't crank out or don't shut all the way. You know, they're fine for a summertime office, but not for a year round thing. So um, they were kind of receptive to helping us out in winterizing it. Whether maybe it's some blown in insulation or uh, maybe we do something with some windows or something, you know. Um, so that again, nothing was definite, but there was talk of. Well, the bathroom it would have to be insulated. And, 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 right, as well. it, it's going to be insulated because the bathroom has to be shut off um, because it's not insulated. Why? Why would this is a bad question? Why would they want to do that? Just being nice. Well, I mean, they they're moving. They want her out of the town hall. They got to move her out of town hall, and they they realize. I understand light, and they feel bad. <laughs> right. This is why. 
Right. So, you know, I mean, we're, we're trying to work together here and, and, and remedy the situation that, you know, we need help here. Um, and they realize that. And, you know, so, I mean, we're, we're talking about some different things, but nothing, nothing concrete, nothing. Okay, I haven't heard anything. The, well, the last I've heard is that there's no timeline at this point. Like they were moving looking, you out, right? Right. The, the whole construction to that second floor and everything, where they were thinking they were going to start, like November-ish. Now there's no timeline. Right. So, right. as is, we kind of went. So that means we stay put for the winter. For now. And Nate was kind of like, I think so. Well, yes. right. okay. Yeah. Till February. Another question for Nate. Till February. Great. Yeah. You, you guys just imagine me cold and shivering on my computer. <laughs> I mean, because you said you know, the bridal suite too, so you don't need a bathroom working on all that if you have bees. Well, I doubt we would have it for the winter. Oh, could you parlay that to someone else to pay for it too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Absolutely. Right? I think the best thing about that unit, though, is it would give us an AC option when we right. could rent that guy to see that. Right. Yeah, that's a big one. Right. Yeah. So I need it, you know. Okay, any other old business? I'm sure there's some things, anything from last meeting that we didn't... Um... Thanks, sir. I think we covered a lot of what we were talking about last meeting. Did those hand dries ever get put in? Do you know? No, nope, he's going to call me this week. Was like, he was going to do weeks and weeks and weeks, you know. No, but uh, uh, with me going, he was going to do it last week, and then I, I said I can leave you the key, and, and he said, um, no, just wait till you come back, so... Um, I didn't hear from him today. I expected him to call Carl to stop in my office today, and he didn't, so um, I will call him tomorrow. I saw someone over there the other day. I think maybe it was Doug over there, but someone was in yeah, there. Yeah, Doug goes in. Doug goes in periodically through the wintertime right. just to kind yeah, of check if he was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you do see somebody in there, um, um, Doug does stop in there uh, periodically. Um, I have to just to bop in and make sure the doors are locked and, mm -hmm. you know, nothing's been vandalized or broken into. Uh, who am I calling? Okay. I, um... Oh, did you see that the coat rack is, the garment rack is up and... Somebody put it together? together? Yep, SEM put it together. I, they they I, went ahead I, and I, did it. I, I, I bought the little coat rack. Looks good. And um, I brought the box in there and sent her a message. I says, if you get energetic, you can put it together. They did. Some metal poles. You just, you somebody can hang their wedding dress on it or a jacket or something. It looks good. Yeah, no, it's it? good. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, good. It's a good size. It's great. Like, yeah. Great. Um, I haven't had a chance to get the switches as I drove in today. The light was on again. Um, but I'm back in town. I'm not going anywhere, at least for like a month and a half. <laughs> Two months. Mm -hmm. December. End of December. Um, so I'm going to pick up those lights. And what was the other thing I was getting? The light switches and... Key box. And the key box. Yeah. Light switches and the key box. 100 bucks. Not big money. Okay. I know that was two things. I think that's right. Um, anything else? Anybody think of anything else? Old business? Mike, you got anything? I, just what I had. Okay. okay. Great. Great. On to new business. Correspondence voting... Memo. Yep, you each have a copy of the memo provided from the town clerk if you want to review that. Can I have a copy? Oh, you don't have a copy? No. Is it in the back of you? No. Right in the back. Thank you. Thanks. So these um, dates, do they know though they need to, does SEM knows that they need the night before as well, right? To set up. Well, if it's they available. Should by now, but. If it's available. If it hasn't been rented. If it's been rented, then they'll set up the next day. All there is to it. Only takes them two hours to set up. Yeah, that wouldn't be a problem like November 5th here. Yeah, but. November 5th, we have nothing on, on Monday thus far. Um, so it is already in the calendar. We, we did deal with this last year, though. Didn't we? It just says no public meetings or as many things. things for it. If it's rented, they understand apparently. You know, we didn't have a presidential primary and a presidential election last right, year. Right, right, right. Yeah, this this time around with the 
pre presidentials, it's in, in more important to have the setup state in state primary. I mean, we got all these different dates. I mean, right. in the contract with SEM, it says one per year got it. Mm -hmm. that they get, not four. But what are you going to do? Right. What it is. So right, the next. I mean, Mondays and Tuesdays aren't a problem. It's it's the setup the day before, you know, um, like Monday, April sixth. Set up Sunday, April fifth. Well, if there's nothing going on, I mean, the thing starts at noon time. They don't need to set the day before. You said it takes two hours, right? They made the mistake of setting it up in two hours. No, that's what it takes now. Last time they had to do it, they did it in two hours. So they don't need to do it two days before. <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning. As long as nothing, as long as it's not rented on Sunday, April fifth. Now, thus far, it's not. But is it? Is that what we're telling SEM? You book these dates. You book the day before. You don't rent anything on those dates. Because this is far out. April twenty twenty. It's far out. This only says no public meetings are to be held on set up dates. So rental is a whole different story. Just give this SEM. Say, if you have a conflict, say, you know, raise, raise well, the flag. No, but right? I had a conversation with her, and I said, as long as it's not rented. I don't think we're in a position with SEM to say Sunday. when they can't do it. No. Need as many rents as we can get. Absolutely, and that's what I said to her. We're in the business of renting this building. You, know, you can get in money. as long as it's not rented. Yeah. So that day, I, I, I think we can, we can, for the first one, I think we can say, okay, tell SEM nothing on Monday. Well, the, the problem is, is now she's got ocean spray coming in, mm -hmm. which is 600 bucks. Yeah. And they're in here for a couple of hours. It's probably going to be like a tri situation where hope it doesn't happen, but if there's a conflict, we'll just figure it out. Right. And that was, uh, ocean spray was the deal that last time. Yes. Ocean spray was here. Right. And what are they here for the morning? Yes. So, so they, so the they were able to come in at like one yeah. or something to that extent? The day before? So is there is on the day before, yeah. Because right. Ocean Spray was here on the Monday. It's gonna be plenty of town. And oh. the town election was on the Tuesday. Right. But obviously we've got to tell them, you know, Tuesday, March third, Monday, April. The day of the election they have to not rent it. Yep, that's fine. The day of. Right. Yeah. Those are already in the calendar. So they know they're not do they're not doing anything. Right. But the other days, if we can get someone in here in the morning, mm -hmm. we're going to check the Yahoo calendar for Sunday, April 5th. 2020, yes. April 5th, there is nothing. We have the um, bike event, Sparks, on the 4th, but nothing on the 5th okay. thus far. Well, I'm just looking at this. Sunday, but we very well could have right. had a wedding. It's right. April. I mean, right. we'll do get married. Right now, we can't give her Sunday. We can't tell that she can come in here on Sunday, nine o'clock in the morning. If we have a chance to rent it, we're going to rent it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, weekends in our prime season. Of course, we have to. absolutely. Yeah. You know, so we've got to tell SEM the days of the elections. They can't. Obviously, they can't rent it those days. They right. can't. Even, they can't have ocean spray in here. They can't have anybody in here the day of the election. But if they can rent it the morning before or the day before, then they can rent it, and we'll, we'll prize them accordingly, okay. what they'll have. Yeah. The only thing would be, what, a night event for some random thing? Right, and chances of having a night event on a Sunday are slim. We'll just, we'll just come and have a heads up. Right. Don't book a night event the day before. Right, and, and that election's fair. on noon the next day, too, so. The only time and it's one, not <laughs> is for <laughs> presidentials. Right, so that's the only one that would be, if push came to shove, they could set up in the morning, if they had to. Mm -hmm. Right. So, right, the other ones? Those are 7 a.m. start times. 7 a.m. start times. Yeah. So yeah. we That's can't, we can't rent it after, we can't do an afternoon rental on the day before, day but before. we can do a morning rental. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Seems like it. So we'll just have to apprise them of that. Morning rentals are okay on these days, but even, even, the, even the Sunday one would be okay. And morning of the day. And then we'll just accordingly let her know accordingly as, as, as we get closer. You know, the days of the elections, they have. But the other, the other day is subject to. Do you want me to send a memo back in terms of days uh, per the contract 
days of elections are provided. Actually, the contract says one day. Yeah, it says the day of. Mm -hmm. um, so the day of election is provided. However, the set of days are... The time could fluctuate. Yeah, times will fluctuate if rentals mm -hmm. are booked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Everyone okay with that? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Oh, another correspondence. Then we'll be on. Um, Joe Quinn from Boy Scouts just emailed me. Joe well, Quinn. Okay, yeah. yeah. Troop 4. That makes sense. He is in need of a meeting location. His usual meeting spot at a church um, is having a religious event, and they are now displaced, and they have nowhere to go. It's on Thursday night, this coming Thursday night, October 10th, from 7 to 8.30. Is this a one-time deal, or is this weekly? No, it looks like it's just... It's because just this one advanced. time, because they usually go to the church. That's all. I'm just asking. Yeah. I want to make that. Oh yeah, if, we can make if, that if clear. If we make this decision, then, then we just need to know whether it's. So what's his request for the building? He, he literally he wants this room for that night. Now the only thing is I have we have ocean spray in, uh, but they're usually not here in the evening. But it is booked via the calendar all day for ocean spray. So I don't this know. Room, but hmm? the Cassidy Weber could be open. It says all rooms. So I don't know if Ocean Spray is having a separate event okay. or not, so I have to check with SEM. You have to reach out to SEM. Um, first and foremost, but outside of that, um, if they're not here all day, their meeting is 7 to 8.30 in the evening, so if the building is open, all they need is this lounge, he said, which is fine. And um, a lot of office over there. They, he has How many people? Uh, 10 kids and two to three adults. So I think that would be a little bit crowded with 10 kids, two yep. to three adults in there. But if this place is, right. if Ocean Spray is here, that's all we can offer. But yeah. if Ocean Spray is here, which I have to double check with that. If they're not here for the whole evening, if they're done earlier, would be my question to you guys. Can they Ocean come and use the building? Uh, I thought those were day meetings. They are usually, but this one, it shows booked all day, all rooms. I don't know if they're having a separate event because they love us so much. <laughs> Would there be a separate like fee or form? For Ocean Spray? Outside of what they're normally doing? Uh, yes, if they're having something huger, but I don't have either. Okay. All I have is the calendar. Got so it. I gotta double check with SEM, but if SEM it says, nope, the building's clear in the evening, have at it. Did you say this is Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts? Uh, Boy Scouts? Boy Scouts, Troop 4. Troop 4, that's not the one that meets at Myricks, right? Nope. That's 26. 21, 26. 26, yep. Yeah. Well, troop 4 is the actual Lakeville Troop. Okay. Is that uh, St. Martha's and Mary? Yeah, they yes. usually go to St. Martha's okay. and Mary. Okay, so the first thing we would have to do is make a decision where we want to allow them to come here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Allow them. So let's make that decision. Well, I would, I would, I would like to make a motion that we accommodate them for the one night if, if, if we can. Right. And providing they clean up after themselves afterwards. Absolutely. <laughs> Bring the vacuum and put the vacuum right here in the room. And the second question is, who's opening the building? Who's closing the building? Second thing is, first of all, second thing is, all right, so we made a motion. Made a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Unanimous. Um, at a fee. At a zero fee or a fee? I mean, that wasn't in your motion. This is a Boy Scouts group, right? Mm -hmm. Strong strapping lads. One of the clean gives a day of cleaning over there. We'll give the, <laughs> I'm talking about a haunted house. That That's nice good. Stuff. <laughs> nice. Hey, okay. It's happened today. Actually, Actually what about on the new 18 fields? Cleaning some of that up. There's plenty of work to be done all over the place, so I mean. Yeah, you know. I mean, this is, we're talking one day. Yeah. We're talking one day. I, I know what you say. I know what you say. I, I would say no fee, but like, no, I, 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 I have no problem with no fee. Yeah. I know, I, but if we, didn't make, we didn't stipulate that in the motion. Yeah. That's all. Oh, and no fee. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. 
Yeah, I just wanted to get that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think they have a budget. Yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 know, I know they don't, but I just wanted to make, I just wanted to make it clear. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yep. Yeah. So now the next thing is we have to find out what the deal is with Ocean Spray. Yep. Okay. I will. I will find so out tomorrow. Contact SEM about Ocean Spray. If they are leaving here at noon time, then they're welcome to use this room. If not, we can offer them the office. Right. I mean, not much else we can do. No, it's a little small, you know, I mean, they can yeah, move they the table over to the side and stand up. Bring the chairs in, and they'll have nice soft chairs. It's an hour and a half. Yeah. I know. At that age, they'll make you. Yeah. No, no, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, but I mean, if if, if we're trying to accommodate them, and, and if Ocean Spray's here all day, then obviously that's all we can offer them. But if they're not, then we can offer them this. Um, what time is it? What day is it? A Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday from 7 to 8.30, is that right? Correct. Yeah, just let me know. We'll go around. We can give them the vendor code. Okay. And then when they go out, they shut the doors tight. Those are the instructions. We'll print up, print up some instructions. Okay. Right? Sure. We'll give them the, the vendor code. So someone comes in there and they can open the, the door over here and they can come in. Now if we have to use the office, then um, I'll have to give them the key. We don't have a, a lock on that. So this is Thursday, what date? October? 10th, this Thursday. This Thursday, okay. All right. So I had some, I had some uh, correspondence. Um, I, 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 last meeting of the meeting before we talked about, uh, Linda had given me a phone number for a guy from Middleborough who was interested in doing a car show here. Oh, yeah. We will talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, I called him. His name is Mark. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have his, his information with me right here. Um, he is very interested in doing something. Um, Bless you. Thanks. You know, for the benefit of the community, as he said. Um, and um, he would like to come to the next meeting. Great. And I'll send you his full name because it's on a note in my car. <laughs> well, she gave me a little piece of paper like this with the guy's name on it and his phone number. But he is interested in coming to talk to us about it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Anything else? <coughs> any other notifications or uh, nope. any other new business? Yeah. No? Okay, what's the desk location? Oh, it really, we've kind of talked about it. I was just going to update that there was no timeline and we weren't sure, so Perfect. it looks like I'll be spending the winter in town halls. So we don't want to rush too much with getting stuff pushed. But I do think we need to talk to that IT guy in terms of extending the Wi-Fi no matter what. Yeah, no, I, I, and, I, and I, I said something, they came back. No, actually, they came back with something. They said $10,000. I went, no, 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 no. Just, we're not asking for new Wi-Fi. We already got Wi-Fi in the park. Just to extend. I think we just do a repeater, can't we? Yeah. What, what, whatever, whatever we got to do. I, yeah, you know. them online. Yeah. So it's just a little thing you plug in the socket? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're right behind the bar. Well, we just yeah. $79. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. less. Yeah. 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 Why didn't do it? So yeah. Well, yeah, I'm absolutely. not sure why this is complicated, other than the fact I, that I he thinks he has to literally give me a line to plug in, which I don't need. No, I just, I, 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 I thought I explained, this was the IT guy, I thought I explained it to him. I says, you know, she just wants to be able to plug in the laptop and... Which is kind of why I want to just bring him here and show him and go, look, I have signal, but it's right. like two bars at right. the corner of the office. I know. No, I know. I know. We just need to push. Okay. So, is there anything else? Uh, anything for the good of the commission? No. Entertain a motion to next meeting. First. First. Over 21st? 21st. Is that a good day, bad day? That's Monday? Good for me. For me. Oh. 6.30, 7, what time? 6.30 is good for me. Okay. Get on at 8.30 like today. Yeah, perfect. I know. Yeah. We're doing good. Today. We're doing good. Yeah, and, and just... Um, I know ICM wants to come in, so just to have them let you know when they're planning on coming in so that we don't get bombarded at a, oh. at a meeting, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's all. I, I mean, told him at this meeting, like, we didn't really have yeah. to discuss. Yeah, that's so, fine. Um, 
Thank you. Okay, let's take, let's take a motion to adjourn. <coughs> motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Adjourned at H34.